Hey, I'm Jay Thomas. Welcome to this week's edition of Hot Rod Hangout. We're looking at what's new at Rod's Hot Rods and Faithful Avenue. And I got Darby here with me today. Hello, Jay. Yeah, you bet. We got uh, Rod busy tied up doing stuff. Whatever. Yeah, he's making deals. Exactly. Yeah, so we thought things. we'll have some fun today. And if you noticed, we've got a different background. We're in the alley shop. Yeah, we haven't been here in a while. We haven't been here in a while for you guys. So we thought we'd take a look and uh, see what's new over here. There's a bunch of vehicles that haven't made it onto Hot Rod Hangout yet because they've kind of been living over here. Yeah, they've been in hibernation, the some of the stuff over yeah. here. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So we thought we'd kind of go over what's over at the alley shop right now. And you see right in front of us, the first thing we're gonna start with today is a little... Uh, a little Hot Wheels. That's just your size, isn't it? I think I could do it. There's like a little... Oh makes man, noise. look at that, yeah, eh? It makes noise, it's got a little look tachometer. Yeah, the works. The whole reason we've got this bike here, of course, is because we've made a draw with all of our coloring contest entries from the Dragon's Rod and Custom Car yeah. Show. How we many did out, we get? About 30 of them that yeah. came back, which is good. We handed out way more than that, but that's okay. Yeah. Kids got to color and Quite have a fun. variety of uh, participants. Yeah, so kind of <laughs> some variety of ages and yeah. styles. We threw them all in a hat, picked one out. This is our grand winner right here. So very good with the colors. Lots nice. of uh, lots of use of colors there. Easton, who is three, won himself a brand new bike from Rod's Hot Rod. So cool. we'll be giving uh, Easton's mom or dad a call here and get a hold of them. And yeah, it's and it's bike riding season. It's so. bike riding season. It's yeah. a Hot Wheels bike. So yeah, perfect. We've got what three vehicles that we've never yeah. seen at least once on Hot Rod Hangout. We're gonna look out today. Yeah, and some of them have been here for a little while, but yep. uh, they're always a work in progress. A couple things we gotta mention that are coming up. Um, first thing that's on the way right away, a couple weeks from now, it's only two weeks. Like it's that fast. It's only two or three weeks and we're at Majestic's oh, yeah. car show in Regina. Yeah. So of course, if you're in the southern part of the province watching us, get to Majestic's, we're gonna be there too with uh, a vehicle and some cool swag. If you're seeing some of the stuff we, uh, we wear around here and you wanna get it on your back, you can always come visit us at the show or go to rodshotrods.ca because we sell a lot of our swag online too. Yeah, and it's very popular. Like, and, yeah, yeah come, awesome. come and get it. We, we ordered like, I don't know, another 100 hats. Oh yeah. Yeah, they just came in yeah. today, so well, it's I awesome. I think John people like their hats, hey? <laughs> I don't have any hair, so I like, <laughs> I like my hat. I was going to say, they're coming up bold yeah. spots. Yeah. <laughs> the second thing we got to mention is May 11th is our very first, uh, but very, very weekly car show called Rides at Rods, mm -hmm. where we invite you to come down every Saturday morning, starting May 11th, all the way till the end of September, with whatever you're driving. Yeah. Could be something you like, classic, whatever you like, yeah, we whatever. like it too. Yeah. yeah, as long as you love it, yeah. Donuts and coffee and uh, a chance to go for a Saturday morning spin and hang yeah, out. But we're not giving you rides. Rides at Rods means cool Br rides means here. Means bring we're, your ride to we're Rods. Not, we're not giving test rides, so <laughs> just okay. to be clear. Let's check out some new stuff around here. Okay, where do you um, start? we're actually going to show you everything. And and before we before we do that, look at this. Look at this Hot Wheels bike. It's awesome. It is cool. So I remember my, well, one of my kids had one of these. Little, look at that. There's like a little it makes noise. Turbo lights up. Oh, can't even get. Oh, right in the turbo. <laughs> Very cool. It is. We got a bunch in here that are uh, that are leaving. Like for example, this guy here and this yellow bug. They're taking off pretty soon here. But this is one of our very first ones that we wanted to cover. That is brand new to us. Seventy-two duster that we got well, probably a month ago now at least. I think this is Darby flavored, isn't it? <sighs> Joe Dirt slash Darby Dirksen flavored. Yeah, yeah. Darby Dirksen yeah. flavored. I think this is. It's pretty cool how, actually. How can you not like it? Oh, yeah. it's got a roadkill sticker on it. Perfect. Yeah, well, it's kind of got that roadkill flair, right? It does. It does. But actually, you know what? Too nice for roadkill because the seats don't have holes in them. Yeah, and it's know? got a headliner. And it's got a headliner. Yeah. Uh, roadkill does not have headliners. No, that's that's actually pretty cool. But it's, this, yeah, it's, just, it's 72, which is a, a, a nice year, a very popular year. It's got a new shark tooth grill. Uh, the bumpers were replaced. Um, well, new aluminum slots kind of to go with that. Look, it is kind of primer black with a six pack hood scoop, but it looks cool like that. Yeah, it does. It's got a nice healthy 360 aluminum heads. Yeah, can we get the aluminum heads and a hood that doesn't work? It's just the Darby that doesn't work. There it the, hood, there it is. the hood works fine. Oh, holy. Look at that. So yeah, lots of goodies. It's got new, new steering. Um, That's like a new awesome. steering box. It's got tubular control arms. Uh, QE1's front and rear, four-wheel disc brakes. Holy. Lot, lots of goodies underneath. Um, new springs. Look at that intake. Got a big high-rise intake in it too. Yeah, that's, that's pretty that's cool. cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know what? That's it's got a stereo and a subwoofer. That's awesome. This is the kind of car that's going to be fun to drive. Yeah. Like it rips. A, a barrel of monkeys fun. Yeah. But then it's got that kind of like you said, little rougher look, which is okay. Because you just want to go have fun with it, yeah. right? Yeah, and it's, it's a factory, it was a factory six-cylinder car. Okay, so major upgrades, basically. Yeah. Cool. I like it. New, brand new exhaust. We just had the exhaust done at competition here last week. It sounds, sounds really good. Awesome. Awesome. That's going to find a home pretty fast, I think. Yeah, I don't think it's going to last long. Okay, let's go down this row. Uh, so, of course, we got our, this is a 34 four, Chevy, yeah. which, is, which is leaving us. Yeah, it's heading back to Medicine Hat. Here's this, our 55 that was in the If you were at Dragons. Dragons, you would have seen the 55 there. Um, a lot of interest in this car oh, since it's been back, but yeah. we can't even get it across to the showroom because it's been too muddy in our yeah, alley. Yeah, so. the back alley is not clean, and this car is way too nice and clean to drive down anything with gravel on it or mud. Gorgeous. Now. Let's go on to some stuff that we haven't seen around for a little while. Oh, we haven't. This 80 is 80, what? 87. It's an 87. Yeah, 87 GT convertible. It's a US car, low miles, original paint. Original interior. Original, original interior, newer black top. It's a good color combo though, it white. Is. Yeah. And it's a manual. It's a manual. The correct amount of uh, pedals down there. These cars, that was the only way to have one of these cars was a manual. Well, no doubt. That's awesome. But yeah, and, it, and, the, and it's an antique, so it's, you know, the, really the first year of this, of this style. But also the last year that you can plate it as an antique. Yeah, exactly. Right? So that's pretty awesome. It's in nice shape. It's dri driver quality. It's ready for some fun. If you're looking for something to go get ice cream in, put the top down, have a good time in the summer, the Mustang is here. Yeah. Come check it out. We've had some guys looking at this recently, too. Yeah, and, this has uh, been, a, been a popular one. This, this kind of fits in the same category is the Joe Dirt over there, a little bit, where yeah. it's a, it's a, you know, just a good old truck, right? Yeah. It's solid, real solid body, like. Yeah, totally. It's all body, a good, a good running 350. It runs and drives really nice. It just, is a long it, box. It, it is a long box and it is lowered. But if you want to actually haul something, then you can do that. These are, these are floating off of our what? Our Fury. Fury at yes. 66 Fury. 66 Fury, original stuff there, but. Yeah. This truck's got a roll pan in the back. It's it's actually really nice. It's you know? it's a very nice truck, yeah. Sliding rear window. For the money, it'd be hard to find a better one. Console out of a Suburban and some newer seats in here. Gauges have all been replaced. Yeah. You know, it's clean. It is, yeah. The new, new dash pad. New dash pad is awesome. Oh, upgraded door panels, I see. Those are the, again, the top line trim ones. Yeah. So somebody's done some done some fun things with this truck yeah and you yeah. could too you could too okay uh let me spin around here again top okay. down cruising chrysler lebaron yeah 1989 i believe it is yeah it's fuel injected fuel you know injected. i'm, I'm kind of thinking that if you have somebody who's turning 16 this summer or they're getting their license this would be actually like a great first car. It would be awesome. It would. It would, it yeah. would because you'd have so much fun in it, right? Yeah. I had a friend growing up. We, still got, we still got a little bit of work to do with some parts and pieces that are coming in yeah, here. Yeah, it, need, it needs a few little things. That we got to replace the, the shocks and struts, yeah. but it's it's a low mileage car. It's only 104,000 kilometers. K, so. so lots of life left in the thing. Original Body's paint. Still in, in pretty fair shape. It is. So that's that. that could be a lot of fun for somebody actually. And, okay, and I'm gonna get you to man the uh, headlight switch and I'm gonna go up here. Oh, you're gonna. Okay, maybe the second best part. Yeah, baby. Cut chow. We got the cut chow, yeah. <laughs> we got fold away headlights, so, and they work great. They're awesome. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Hey, another nice old truck. 49 Chevy, this is uh, one we've had for a little while here. It's actually a neat truck. It's on an S10 chassis, but it's got a Dodge 318. Oh yeah, this is the one that's got like it's all three. It's if you it's, want it's uh, got a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Yeah, but it, it's actually a nice solid truck. It's a good driver. Wow. Five windows. Uh, yeah, five right. window, and it's Which even got a slider in that back window. And, and the, the box the, is about a I think a mid mid 60s Chevy truck. Yeah, with the side box. mount. Spare. Long box cool. depth side. It's it's a cool little truck. Of course, this is so shallow because 
axle lives right up under there, yeah. right? Yeah, why you know that's on that S10 chassis. But yeah. drives really nice. Again, priced accordingly. Something that you can afford to just get into and take her for a spin, have some fun. Now we would tell you more about this, but of course uh, the beautiful root beer GTO is leaving us. It's old heading out west. But we can talk about the big Chrysler. Oh yeah, I forgot I was standing right beside it here. 79, 300, 360, fully loaded. It um, actually starts and drives and runs nice. The paint is really nice in this car. Yeah. Like, I mean, the feel of it, it's just like butter when you touch it. It's yeah. great. And it's the, got a, it's got that good 360 that the Little Red Express has had, a little bit of a high performance 360. Yep. Different the, rear end, posi. Look at the red leather in here. Like, it's awesome. It's all original. Air conditioning uh, car, full gauges, the tack works. It's kind of got like this turn metal look yep. to it, like a, like a mid 80s or early 80s Trans Am. Power windows, power seat, like the whole bit. I think it's actually really cool. Yeah. And it's, and it's a coupe, it's a two door, yeah. right? All these cars are, you know, at a very decent price point too. Like most of the stuff we've looked at so far is, you know, oh yeah, in and around $20,000 and under. Yeah, so. and, and this, this cow, I mean, look at, look at how nice the chrome is. It's just, just about flawless. It really is. This yeah. is a, like a really nicely done car. Well kept, must have been well preserved, and then I think I think that's a new paint job, right? It's been repainted. It's yeah. been repainted, but yeah. well repainted actually. Like it looks good. It's a rust free yeah, and white driver. White, blue, and red, like all the three hundreds were. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, here's another another barrel of fun. O3 Sonoma. O3 Sonoma and lowered. Right? Or well it's it's a factory a factory lowered Street Force edition. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. So the Street Force edition, what I've learned is different seats, yep. a little bit lower, uh, tail lights, and the dash cluster has a, some white faces oh, and it says Street Force Street on it. Force. Cool. But it's an original paint, no rust, yeah. 03 short box and almost so. And again, awesome like, for running around or a parts runner. Or a first vehicle again. Yeah. Like again, six, somebody's turning 16. You want them to have a little truck to drive around? This would be a yeah, great. Yeah, it's got 100, 108,000 kilometers. So again, really low. Yeah. This is the kind of truck that obviously was somebody's, somebody's baby. Yeah, somebody's baby. It right? obviously didn't see any winters because these, no. these were very rusty trucks. Yeah, they, they ended up being really rusty. And this yeah. is an original paint rust-free truck. Yeah. Box lined, which is great. So it's a little useful. Yeah, this is, this was like a, a new truck when I was in high school. And I remember a few guys had these. Oh, really? They were cool. Yeah. 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 Well, a new truck when I was in high school wouldn't have been this. <laughs> <laughs> I think these were these. I can't remember if that came with the Street Force pack. Or I'm not. actually not sure. They might have. You know what? That might have been one of those yeah. things they did. I think the roll pan was part of that package. It too. was, I think, yeah. But some cool wheels and tires and nice for black. Yeah, lots of the stuff we were just looking at, we kind of had parked out back for the winter and we just kind of brought it out and. We just don't have room for everything. Exactly. Here's another one. 97 Dakota Sport 318. Yeah, this is a V8. Like a factory, factory 318 V8. truck. Sport. And a really nice color, kind of a, a aqua teal yeah, marine. Yeah, it's you a know. factory color. And it's been repainted. Low kilometers again on this truck. Well, this one's about 250. Is that always at 250 now? Yeah. Okay, I thought it was lower than that. But hey, look look at how, what kind of shape it's in for 250. It's then. in good shape, yeah. Like not a crack in the dashboard. The seats aren't ripped. Nice little truck. And the tires, it sounds really good. Got dual exhaust. Yep. Really clean under here. It's hard for me to pick it up right now because it's so bright outside. But oh, we actually got some nice sun. The doors open. Yeah. So a nice little truck. It is nice. And it sounds wicked. Totally. Okay, what we wanted to do was come out here and spin around and uh, look at what's living outside right now. We're going to start with uh, one of our new arrivals, and it's right here. Look at this. This is one that's on our website, but we haven't had a chance to put it in the main showroom yet. But I actually just kind of drove it for the first time yesterday. I drove it home. I drove it over here from the other shop. I, like, uh, there's not too many trucks I've, or cars I've driven that with a twitch of a, fit of a toe, the twitch of a toe, yeah. it's lighting up the tires. I'm not even kidding. Yeah. It's, it's, it's that, that quick. Yeah, it's, so it's a 53 Merc. It's got a newer, I can't remember what year it is, 05, I think, 5.7 Hemi. Overdrive, 
This car, this truck honestly drives better than any truck I've driven here. Yeah. It, well, and you said you, like you drove on the highway, it's quiet oh, too. Oh, it, it's so nice. The, the doors take a lot to shut because they've actually got a huge amount of gasketing in them. So you gotta make sure it shuts well. And then when you close up the windows, all the gaskets are new. Like it's, it's quiet on the road. It is. Some racing seats in there. Yeah, we kind of talk about maybe changing the seats. As comfortable as they are, they're kind of hard to get in and yeah. out of. But uh, nice gauges, those look good. It's got a good stereo subwoofer. Yep. And everything works. It's got heat, it's got air conditioning, and all that works. Oh, awesome. Yeah. It was a, it was built to be a daily driver, and it was. Okay. The over... paint isn't perfect, but it's, it's yeah. like I said, it's a driver. It's a driver. It's ready to go. Still got our cab. Still waiting to see what Rod's going to do with the cab out here. Our checker taxi. Yeah, I don't know when we're going to get to this. We have high hopes. We do. That's a huge back seat. Like, look how much legroom there is in there. Isn't it? Yeah. These are these are bigger than they appear. The, the cabs are big. Like it's a big car actually. Yeah. And we've got our we got our, our 64 Ford. We had this in the video before, but I drove it home for a couple days. It's a last 64 week Ford, but I think it should be called a 64 Ford Victor because it's really a Crown Victoria yeah. underneath. Yeah. It drives really nice. An F1 Victor. Inside, we're waiting to see if we're going to do some work on the inside because it's it's kind of a, a mix of old, new, old and then new on the bottom. That's how it kind of goes together. Yeah. But again, this is a truck that's got air conditioning, cruise control, airbags, yeah, all that stuff, and it all works. Everything works, and it rips down the highway nicely. It's got a cool stance actually, and I like the the patina. And even I like, the, they even patinaed the rims, hey? Yeah, they did. Yeah. And those are the, those you are know, the Crown Vic rims. The Crown yeah. Vic Interceptor rims. Yeah. We can tell you more about this little Ford, but she's a sold unit. However, the big F-350's here. This is an 89 F-350 with a 460 supercharged, fuel supercharged. injected, five speed. And it's high off the ground. Yeah. And the body is in such nice shape. I can't get over that. It is very nice. New tires. Yeah, just another one we haven't had quite room to put in the shop. Well, it's big. I mean, it is big. It's yeah. a long box, and she's tall. Oh, she's locked up. But oh, interior is really nice in this truck too. You yeah, know. newer carpet, newer everything. Box Stereo. is nice. No rust anywhere. Solid truck. And these are getting popular now. This body style. They it's are, coming yeah. along. We got a Camaro. 1980 Camaro. It's just a. Plain Jane, or it's not a Z28. Again, some of these are waiting for parts or waiting for. Yeah, we had some new seats and a console. Yeah, this and a steering column we want to put in this car. But uh, if you're looking for a you know project, we often sell things as they are, like yeah, this too, right? Definitely so, would sell it as is. Yeah, it's yeah. got a really well built three to three stroker. So just need someone to finish it and drive it. Exactly. We got. We're going Baja next. Oh, Look at this, yeah. a matching pair. Matchy match. I I get a kick out of these. So what's what here? Do you remember the years I told you? 70 and 67, but which one's which? This is a 70. This this kind this of salmon-y, salmon one. Yeah. yeah. And that one's a 67, yeah. Of course, it's all fiberglassed in, so it looks a little bit different. I, I get a real chuckle out of these. Look at these tires. Those little skinny guys there. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, Old, those look like old snow treads. Yeah. You know, in fact, they have double pin white walls on the insides of them. Yeah. Pretty funny. Pretty funny. Yeah, these and these are two projects we got to get to too. But like you said, they're everything is for sale. Everything's for sale. Exactly. We got the Ranchero, '79 Ranchero. This is a cool car because it's a GT, and there wasn't that many GTs made really. GT factory 351 Cleveland. Air got conditioning, AC. It's got a tachometer, full yeah. gauge package. Because Marty GT. report for this car too. She's big, big, big yeah. bumper, eh? Big bumper. It's a nice car though. It really is. Now this has had a lot of guys looking at it too. Yeah, '96 GMC, 1500, 1500. Yeah, right. with that 6.5 turbo diesel. Turbo diesel, and I, uh, you know, a little dusty from sitting out here right now. I had a wash the other day, but no, I locked it. But 
We locked it. But it basically, it only has 170,000. 170,000 kilometers. But inside is like a brand new truck. Somebody has loved still this plastic thing. on all the carpets actually from factory. Yeah. And these trucks are usually very rusty too. Yeah, this one, I mean, there's no cancer anywhere. No. And the gentleman we bought it from was very particular about it. Yeah. He uh, he was very concerned, you know, about keeping it clean always, keeping the rust away from it. And he did a good job of it because it's in really nice yeah, shape. Yeah, I, I drove this last week too. It's, it drives like a new truck. This would be like, yeah, this would be like one of those ones that if you're actually looking to like maybe pull a camper, you want to get into that, yeah. you know, it'd be great for pulling. Yeah. And fully loaded too. Yeah, it's it's like air conditioning and cruise and the whole bit. So, okay, what year is this? Two thousand and eight. I gotta tell you, six or eight, or did you say ten or eleven? No, I didn't say that. <laughs> okay, yeah. But, but anyways, this yeah. is a pretty little sweet little truck. It is. This has a lowered, kind of a, a pretty done up six liter. Those are real. That's not like some fake side exhaust. No, they're real. It's, That's the real thing. She's loud, this truck. It's loud. It's loud. It sounds great. It's got a bunch of goodies under the engine, too, under the hood. It, it's got that go fast intake, headers. Uh, it's got a cam. Oh, we lock, we're locked. locked. This one. Yeah. Oh, we got to keep things locked up around here. We do. Billet grill, which looks nice. We're waiting for a few parts for it, and then it will be. Hopefully by end of day tomorrow, we'll be ready up for sale. Got the big fins here, 1958 Cadillac. 1958, yeah, we had it. Um, Crow 9 came and yeah, he did. Look at pinstripe. Look at all the awesome pinstripe work he did. Did we ever show everybody what it looked like after he was done, or no? I can't no, remember. No, no, this is the first time. First so time. we got some there going on. Yeah, he did a real nice job. We got it stripe running down the side of the fender, up on the top, a real. Awesome one to finish things out in the front of this car. Yeah, this is a cool ride. Yeah. And there's parts cars galore that come with this car. So it's in this four. selling it in the state that it's in, which is running and driving certainly, but uh, and, and interior is in pretty fair shape too, actually. Yeah, you can, you can hop in and drive this thing anywhere. Oh yeah, totally. It's ready to go. Well, we have tons of parts, tons of stainless for the car. We have. There's a bunch of strips that are going to go like back on it. That we said got. we got how many? Three, oh, three or four, three parts or four cars. parts cars for this that are going to so. could come with it. So mm -hmm. you can drive it as it is, or you can rebuild one all all together. Yeah. That's kind of the end of it, isn't it, Darby? That's the end of our stuff outside Except here. Except for one yeah. last one, we got a feature. Oh yeah, which is right behind me, which is one of our our new ones for this week. Yep. Yeah. And uh, this is one that we think we're going to get some Rod's Custom Carts logos on it. And you might just see it on 8th Street with a golf cart on it this summer. Everywhere throughout the city, yeah. Look at this! 74 F350. It's awesome. Beacon on top and cab lights. Yeah, the body was fully restored. That was a couple years ago. It was actually in Dragons. One year. That was probably three or four years ago. So I think she's gonna be our show truck for the carts. We're gonna get uh, some sides on, put on the deck here so we can get some advertising. Interior is nice. Seats all been redone. It's kind of a, an interesting fabric. It's yeah, it looks like a Minecraft or something. Yeah, but nice interior. She's been out and about. She's got a three speed or a four speed? Four speed standard. Four speed standard. Yep. So she's heavy duty, but that's an awesome little truck. We're going to have fun with this thing for yeah, sure. Yeah, we're going to, like you said, get some decals. I think we're going to put a different headache rack on it maybe. And pretty sweet. kind of turned into our own. Well, that's what's over here and kind of what's new for this week. Again, things to look forward to. Majestics, uh, rides at Rod's first car show will be coming up. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, uh, you can always find everything online. Rodshotrods.ca. Like, subscribe, follow along. We'll see you every week like we always do. Catch you next time on Hot Rod Hangout.